All right, it is time for our weekly What's It Worth segment with Old Northeast Jewelers. And this morning, we are taking a closer look at cameos and how you know what they may be worth. Hi, it's Jeffrey Hess here, and I'm uh, back again. We're here to talk about estate jewelry. I own Old Northeast Jewelers in St. Petersburg on 4th Street and in Hyde Park in Tampa. Today, we're going to talk about cameos. Cameos, as you can see, are not rare. Almost everybody got one when they went on the proverbial grand tour in the, gosh, mid-1800s, clear up until the 1920s or 30s. And even today, there's a market for these. The Italian craftsmen often made these while sitting at their little carving table and quite often did them in the likeness of the person who was shopping. Sometimes, of course, they had stock images, but pretty much everyone is different. Most of these cameos are worth, unfortunately, without frames, $5 to $50 a piece, and of course, we'd be happy to sell most of them for that. What you're looking for when you're looking at cameos are things like these. Here is a big lava cameo. Lava cameos aren't quite as colorful, but they are sought after, especially when there are different colors of lava. Sometimes the lava is blue, sometimes it's gray. Typically it's a gray color like this. It comes in a myriad of colors. There are, you also look for these so-called Habibs, these cameos that have genuine diamond necklaces. Again, without the frame, these are probably worth in the $25 to $75 range, and you can make a new frame for them if you'd like. Now when these have frames, of course, we pay a lot more for them depending on the heaviness of the gold. You have to add the gold value into the artistic value. This is particularly nice. It's signed by one of the famous cameo makers and it has four doves uh, feeding at kind of a bird bath. Really, really delicate and very well done. You also look for outdoor cameos like this. This is a little outdoor scene. The outdoor scenes, especially when there are courting couples or nudes, which is always a very wonderful subject among artists uh, for, from time immemorial, uh, they quite often will bring a lot of money. If you're looking for really good quality cameos, typically they're going to be 18 karat gold. Uh, next would be 14 karat, and of course the lesser ones are usually in 10 karat or gold filled. This one recently came to us, and this is the kind of thing you're looking for. Very, very large. Lots of action, lots of people, stunning workmanship. The craftsmanship is out of this world, and it's set in 14 karat gold. Had this been an 18 karat gold, I think this would be a $2,000 cameo. It's very, very large, and it's very, very well done, and it's very, very old. In 14 karat, we paid $700 for it, and we would sell it in our shop for probably $1,000 to $1,200 if you would like to take a look at it. The reason it's so inexpensive is because there's a very tiny chip at the bottom, and these cameos are made out of shell, of course, so uh, they do tend to chip from now and again, and a very, very small hairline here. So that's why it's so inexpensive. Had it not been damaged in these tiny ways, and yes, even a tiny bit of damage is gonna cost you. So that's why we bought this so inexpensively. Um, and that's why it is for sale for 1000 to 1200 If you have a cameo and you want to know what it's worth, bring it on in to Hess Fine Art or Old Northeast Jewelers. This is a little book we write, and it's available for $35 if you want to buy it from us. It lists a lot of the columns that we have written in the Tampa Bay Times over the course of the last three or four years. We are the What's It Worth people. Give us a call, Old Northeast Jewelers. Tampa or St. Petersburg. Thank you.